Gary, there was clearly a lot of pain and frustration in your voice on Tuesday. Having had time to reflect, time to watch the game back, do you, do you reflect any differently? Uh, I do now. I think uh, directly after games, you're, you're caught up in the emotion of it and what have you. But um, yeah, watch the game back and you know we put in a, a good performance against the team that are sitting second in the table. So uh, we're not that far away. Um, so yeah, overall, again, pleased with it. But... Um, doesn't change matters. We still didn't get anything from the game. So, uh, but you know, as a benchmark against the team at a second, yeah, you know, I was pleased. It's been two good performances this week, and that's the frustrating thing. We said on Tuesday, instead of one point from two games, it should be three, four, six points. That's that's what makes it so frustrating. If if the performances weren't there, it would be a different kind of frustration. But you could understand it. Yeah, no, it, the performance is. Um, very important. That's you know something that we uh, we always work towards. You know, uh, if you get the performance right, more often more often than not, you get the result. So uh, we'll continue uh, hoping to get the performance right, and then um, throughout the course of the season, you'd like to think you get the rub of the green. Um, you know, throughout that season. So uh, performance is vital to us. We wanted to get that right. Uh, credit to the players um, who've done that. You know, from day one. But we have to also make sure we pick up points. Goals had not previously previously been a problem. Three against Gateshead, three against Tranmere immediately spring to mind. Is it just rubber the green that you're not getting the breaks at the moment? Well, you look at uh, the performance by the tall key goalkeeper. You then look at chances that we created uh, against Dagenham and the opportunity Charlie had at the end. Um, goalkeepers uh, opposite goal. The opposition goalkeepers are paid to, to keep the ball out of the back of that. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, one of them things at the moment. But, um, you know, we've got goals in the team. We're creating chances. And it's um, we can continue to do that. And then the players that we've got within the squad will, uh, I'm sure, finish them off. With Scott, with Matt, with Charlie, proven at, at this level and, and higher, that it, there's, it's they're not playing badly, is it, is it a psychological thing or, or you say it's just a freak 180 minutes of, of, of bad luck? We get spells during the course of the season where you know you don't get what you want, it's as simple as that. We'll play you know, poorly in certain games going forward and probably get points where we probably don't deserve uh, to get. Uh, that's what I'm hoping anyway, so um, no, we keep performing like we have been and we'll be okay. Guys, you've only got one point away from home, but it's important to be 100% from the first whistle to start positively and do everything that, that has brought such an imposing home record here. Yeah, I'd, I was, I've was i been busy over the last couple of days. I was able to watch their, their game on Tuesday night as well. And they have picked up recently. Um, they've performed well. They, they'll make it difficult for us, that's for sure. Um, but we have to make sure that we turn up and perform. And if we do that, as I've always said, we give ourselves a chance. But, you know, the home form has been good in the league um, and we have to maintain that. And Geisley struggling at the wrong end of the table, albeit their, their form has picked up. Tuesday marked, I think, the start of a month of playing four of the top t six teams in this division. That's big challenges. So to benchmark the team, show how far it's come and also a good opportunity to, to really reassert the excellent form that we've shown earlier in the season. We want to keep we want to keep that home form and you know good play um, and good results at home in in the league. That's for sure. But every game is a difficult game. You know if you don't prepare properly, if you don't turn up on the on the particular day, it's always going to be uh, difficult. And for guys here, they're they're fighting for points um, to get themselves into a healthier position. We're fighting for points to get ourselves in in a better position. So uh, there's there's a lot to play for, and no team at this level or at any level will, will lay down and die and hand you the point. So we've got to work extremely hard for that on Saturday. Are you expecting guys to come and, and perhaps understandably keep it tight, come as, as other teams have done to dare or shut down to, to break their defence down? I'm sure they will. I'm sure they'll come uh, and be solid, make it make it very difficult for us. Um, I'd like them to come and you know you know play, but you know they'll have a game plan, and rightly so. Our game plan will be you know to get a result and and to play well in front of our home fans. It's as simple as that. 
But uh, come three o'clock on Saturday, we'll, we'll be ready again. I think Simon Walton was sent off after the final whistle on, on Tuesday. I'm not quite sure what that was about, but he, he's clearly not a one-man team, but he'll, he will be a big miss for, yeah, for Geisley. Yeah, they're an experienced player, um, and obviously the way they play as well. And obviously what I've seen, uh, especially on Tuesday evening, a lot went through him, the way they played. So, um, you know, I'm sure he'll be missed, but whoever comes in to replace him has got an opportunity. Um, but obviously that's Geisley's concern. Our concern is to, to bounce back from Tuesday evening. There were a couple of players out on Tuesday, Shamir missed out. Was, was that rotation was he rested or, or is there a, a needle there? No, Shamir twisted his uh, ankle at Torquay um, quite early on in the game and uh, he continued. Um, obviously it's blown up a little bit but um, he's not going to be out for too long. Whether Saturday is a little bit too early for him but only, only time will tell. How's everybody else looking? Everyone's looking fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they're all good. They were bitterly disappointed on Tuesday evening. Um, so, you know, in today, um, have a chat with them, train and, you know, focus again back on Saturday and also remind them of how well they, they done on Tuesday evening, you know, because everybody will look at the result and it's a defeat, but the bigger picture is how, how the group have done, how well we done Tuesday evening against the team that is sitting second in the table and from our side, you know, uh, the staff side, going up against a team that's second in the table and giving a very, very good account of ourselves and possibly should have come away with something. You know, we're quite pleased with that in terms of where we are and what we've done. Obviously not too pleased with our points return over the last two games, but it's a long season. Indeed it is. Uh, thank you very much, Gary. We'll see you on Saturday. Thank you.